Well, before this, engineering was just problem solving only. And then I came here and I learned that it's problem solving with a lot of different things. And I just think it's amazing. The thing I like about this program is like, they don't just teach you the math behind everything. They teach you the concepts behind why the math is used. So, because like in, in school, you just learn, say, math. This teaches you how to apply that math. I was assigned a crisis, which is actually us trying to program and make a robot or an autonomous vehicle that just you, takes itself and goes along a path based on a code. And we have to program it to essentially stay on a line with a wire underneath it so there's a current passing through it. And we have sensors that sense the magnetic field from the wire's current. And pretty much, it just, like, we have to create an algorithm that, so if it comes off just a little bit, it has to get right back on. I really liked working on the engineering project because we got to learn things about programming and whatnot. Like, yesterday, I just learned what the C language was. I had never actually done any programming before this, but, like, I had always wanted to. And then when I came to this camp, we actually learned how to program in C language, which was actually pretty cool. And today we actually finished programming our robot, and it actually works pretty well, so that's really awesome. The uh, windmill project was pretty awesome. I think it was like a really like revealing experience about like the clean energy field, because I've always been kind of a mechanical energy robot kind of guy, so that's why I signed up for green energy, the green team. So I'm really digging the project so far. I think it's uh, really expanding my horizon as an engineer. We're doing a, kind of a solar oven for, because it kind of started off kind of like with like a newsflash saying that like how many people need to need clean water, clean food. So they hit us with a project saying we need to be able to construct something that could uh, deliver clean water to as many people as possible. So we were basically given like elementary materials to work with and we had to basically build something that could heat water by capturing as much energy as possible. It's really cool to um, combine everybody's ideas and see what comes out in the end from the first, like from what everybody had in the beginning, the end product is really cool to see. I think it was pretty cool working on the project because I mean it's doing something that we really haven't done before and it's really interesting to learn about the stuff and to be able to figure out something and actually see it working in real life. Working on a team is fun because we get a get each person's idea out there and so it's not just whatever you think and it also helps a lot because you can really trade ideas and find out what works best because just because you think it works the best doesn't mean it will. So you can really get the best product in the end rather than being by yourself and doing whatever you think is right. The engineering faculty is really helpful. One thing that actually surprised me was how nice everyone was. For some reason they keep wanting to help and they're really nice about it. I liked working with the engineering faculty. The teacher's pretty cool. And it's cool because like next year, say we apply here and we get in, like we already know some of our professors, like the main ones, like for a major maybe. And it's pretty cool because, I mean, you get that personal connection that not many students get. I liked working with the engineering faculty because I'm not sure what kind of engineering I want to do. And it was really helpful because they all uh, told me what their majors were and kind of what their classes were and what they do in those classes. So it was just nice to have them as mentors this week. I personally like working with the undergrads who are in the engineering school because they give you a different perspective that's not from the professor's point of view. So they're still students so they know what you're looking for and what kind of things you want to know. So I really enjoyed that. This camp really did help me decide on a major because I kind of had like an idea but I didn't I hadn't really talked to anyone about it so I not only did I get to talk to professor but I got to talk to some of the people actually enrolled in the major like my age, so I got to hear like the classes I have to take and the opportunities and jobs they're taking. I was actually, I had an interest in engineering, but I was more geared towards business, and I didn't know until this trip around that there is a, a field of engineering, the, um, industrial systems, that has business and engineering. So I thought that was interesting. I'm looking into doing that. I would do the camp again. I think it was, it's been a lot of fun and I'm sure it will continue to be. It's fun seeing different things around campus. We do a lot of different things. We don't just work on a project. We don't just visit campus. We actually get a good sense of everything that goes on here. And it's really cool to see how everyone works at A&M and how things are here. Um, it gets you on college campus. Like there are yeah. a lot of campus uh, camps, I guess. But this one's really special. It's really inclusive. I think uh, that I've really learned that you can't just tunnel vision your uh, 
your focus in college. You have to look around, try different things, because sometimes you might figure out that you really like it. And, um, and so I used to be completely fixed, and I knew I was going to be a robotics engineer or mechanical engineer and call it a day. But now this camp has really introduced me to other forms of engineering, and uh, I'm going to really uh, I'm gonna take that with me and uh, use it as a lesson for the rest of my life.